Hello, and welcome to the Thrive Mindset Podcast. I am so glad you are here with me. My name is Carrie Dale, and I am your host. I am an entrepreneur, author, podcaster, manifester, and motivator. And I am on a mission to empower you to create the life of your dreams. If you are looking to uplevel your life, relationships, finances, productivity, and success, you have come to the right place. I will share with you tools, resources, strategies, my failures, and my successes that have all helped me achieve the life of my dreams. It is my goal with this podcast to help you see your potential and empower you to create the life of your dreams. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the Thrive Mindset Podcast. I'm Carrie Dale, your host. And today we're going to dive deep into an essential to mastering the art of manifestation. And that is letting go and trusting the universe. If you feel stuck, or you are tired of trying to control every detail, or you believed your desires were out of reach, then this is definitely the episode for you. Because you can attract your heart's desires. All you have to do is learn to let go and allow the universe to support your journey. But first, let's get a really strong foundation in what the core principles of manifesting are. Manifestation is not just saying what you want. It is not just the law of attraction. While I totally support the law of attraction, I just have a different, bigger, more expansive idea of what manifesting is. And it involves an entire process of not only having desires, but bringing that together with our intentions and into reality through the power of belief and the energy we put out there in the universe. It's about aligning our thoughts with our actions and feelings, emotions, and our energy and attracting and harnessing that creative force that's all in the universe. And the universe is here to support every bit of that. We just have to allow it. I know you've all heard me talk about manifesting over and over and over. So I think that we're in alignment with what that is. But I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that we need to exert this control over every little detail and all of our desires to make it materialize. And that is so untrue. That is so not what we're doing. Because the irony here is that trying to have that heart of control and make everything happen, you're actually hindering the whole manifestation process. You are creating this resistance and this naturally prevents the flow of that abundance into our lives. It's so unfortunate. But for a lot of this, this can be really hard because if you are like me, you you want control. You feel good when you have control over things. A life feels better to you in control. And so letting go and letting go of that control can be really, really hard for some of us. One of the ways that I see this on a daily basis with people that I interact with is their search for their perfect home. Like they want to control every single detail of it. They want to control exactly what the house is going to look like, exactly where they're going to look. They want absolute control. And then once they make an offer and they get into that transaction, then they want even more control over how that whole process goes. And unfortunately, that is not the way it works. We don't have complete control. And it's okay. Like it is okay to not have control in every single moment. In fact, Most of the time, if you just let go and let it be and let the universe take its role, everything works out. And most of the time, it works out better than we thought it would have in the beginning. Why? Because the universe has this bigger picture of what we are supposed to have than we can even imagine. So I find it this really fun process when working with real estate clients. And, you know, we've we've found the house. We found the house they want. And then working them through just trusting the process, trusting that they're going to find out all the information they need to from all the specialists that we hire. They are going to make their requests and the seller is going to have a moment too. They're going to have a moment of wanting their own control. And when that seller releases a little bit of that as well, It all comes together. And I'm not going to say that every single transaction is perfect that way. But I find this massive joy in watching those who do release that control some, who do just trust. 
I've seen it time and time again, especially where somebody has thought they found the perfect house and we've made an offer on it and maybe there's been multiple offers and they didn't get it. But then then a couple more houses down the road, they actually find the one that they were dreaming of. Like it actually shows up and then everything just falls in line. And I so badly want to say, this is what it was supposed to be all along. You just needed to take a moment and try not to force it and try not to control at all. But that's a hard thing to do. But we're not all here manifesting the house of our dreams, right? So again, just remember that when you control things or when you are holding on so tight you are creating resistance. And that resistance is presenting you from that abundance in your life. So how do you truly embrace the art of letting go and trusting the universe? Well, you need to first recognize and overcome two major roadblocks. Those are resistance and attachment. So resistance can manifest in your life in many different ways. For example, doubt, fear, or negative self-talk are all great examples of resistance. It comes about when you hold on to beliefs that contradict with your desires. So, you know, I've told you many times, mine, my resistance, my my one thing that holds me back is that idea of I'm not enough. And it's a it's negative talk. It's fear. It's doubt. It's all of those things rearing its ugly head into my life. But another great example is let's pretend you desire financial abundance, but you're constantly worrying about money. You're constantly thinking, where is that next dollar coming from? How am I going to make that money? How am I going to pay that bill? You're putting it out there that you want this abundance, but you're a little bit in the back of where is it coming from? Well, that inadvertently is creating this resistance to abundance. And it's really hard to overcome, but it's a matter of being aware. So just like with me and my not enough, I'm aware. I stop myself. I ask myself, is it true? Is that really true? Or is that something that's just holding me back? And always the answer is, it is something that is just holding me back. And with money, with financial resistance, you've got to stop yourself because it's hard. It's a hard hill to get over. But when you are thinking, where is that next bill? You need to stop yourself and go, wait a second. I don't know where it's coming from. And that's okay. But it's coming. And you just need to say it over and over and over until you break that habit of where is it? And you break, break that habit of resistance. And the other major roadblock is attachment. An attachment happens when you become fixated on this specific outcome or a very strict timeline. And that is where many of us with control issues fall into because we're clear on our intention and we know how crucial it is to keep our energy up and we know all the things that we need to do in order to manifest but we've set th- these restrictions upon the universe which totally takes away from that natural flow right it inhibits the ability of the universe to truly bring us what we need deserve and want i can't tell you how many times i have said i am going to do da 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 by this certain date And every single time I fail, every single time. But when I just put it out there, when I just say, I am going to help this many people and I don't give it a specific amount of time, I don't give it a a constraint, I don't put maybe a monetary value on, I don't put all of these restrictions around it and I just let it be and I just believe it Well, it's amazing how quickly it comes to me and how quickly it comes to me in a bigger way than what I even dreamed it would be. But it's all because I let the universe play its role within my dream. And I let go of the controlling and the attachment I had to a certain specific time, to a certain specific outcome, to whatever it is. I just, this is what I want and I want it in whatever manner it will come to me. And making this kind of surrender is not about giving up on our dreams or desires. It's not about losing that vision. It's not about not seeing the big picture. Rather, it's about releasing that resistance and trusting that universe wisdom is better than our own. It's trusting that there's more out there than you can even imagine or see. 
It's truly this powerful act of faith that allows us to embrace the flow of life and open up ourselves to infinite possibilities. Because I promise you, there's so much more than you can visualize. There's so much more than you can imagine for yourself. There's so much more in life that you aren't even aware of. And when you let go of that attachment and that resistance, it will pour into you. So what does it mean to start embracing and surrendering? Well, it means letting go and accepting everything in that present moment, having the joy and excitement over every moment and just knowing that what's coming to you is going to be great. It's about believing that the universe is inherently abundant and always working in your favor. I mean, the universe is here for you. Even when things seem uncertain, it is here for you. But saying and doing are two different things, right? So how do we practice this? How do we practice surrendering? How do we practice trusting? How do we integrate these principles into our daily lives? I would start with being mindful and having self-awareness because it's seriously crucial to recognize the resistance and the limiting beliefs that you have that are hindering all of your manifestations. But when you take the time and you observe your thoughts and your emotions, and you don't judge, but you just identify them, you can release that and release those blocks that are holding you back. Since this last January, when Jeff and I took our Triple R trip, uh, which you could listen to on episode one, I have really been trying to be very mindful in my life and self-aware of myself. And that has involved a coaching program that has been teaching me different aspects of myself to make me really look in. It's had me do shadow work and, and really dive deep into who I am and, and the things that maybe I don't like and the things that I do like or the things that I pretend aren't there. It has allowed me to get a greater self-awareness so that in my daily life, I can be mindful. I can remind myself and ask myself if that belief or that thought is hindering me or if it's aligning with my manifestations, if it's allowing me to be who I truly am. Because it's funny, as women, we have this fear. We have this fear of not being seen a certain way, even if we're not that way. But the irony with that is we are all so different and it's beautiful that we're all so different. In fact, if we were all the same, what a boring life that would be. I would say that the more self-aware you are of yourself, the more mindful you can be on a daily basis and in the moment. The next step you can take to surrender and release control is to release those limiting beliefs. We need to challenge and replace these beliefs with positive affirmations that align with our desires, right? So if you're like me, and I think many of us are, and you struggle with that I'm enough, you need to spend time in affirmations that rewire your subconscious mind and create this mental environment of positivity, which will only increase your manifesting. So instead of I am not enough, well, hell yeah, you're enough. You're more than enough. You're great. You are great at what you do. You, I watched the the Barbie movie this week and there's a lot of great messages in it. I, when this, when the previews first started coming out, what, a year ago, even maybe even longer, I thought, oh my gosh, who would make a Barbie movie? How dumb is this? But I was pleasantly surprised. I, it had so many great messages in it. And if I had a, you know, a, a tween teen girl right now, I would absolutely be taking her there because there's such a powerful message behind this silly little story. It talked a lot about like the expectations on women and how, you know, we put all these rules and regulations on ourselves that are so ridiculous and and unnecessary. I mean, one of my favorite ones was the human in it. She was saying how, you know, as women, we're expected to be thin, but we can't say that we want to be thin, but we have to be thin. This whole ridiculous conversation that happens in our head or the whole way that we, you know, I'm, I need to be smart, but I can't let that person know I'm too smart because if I do, then they won't like me. I mean, it's just this constant stream of craziness that we put ourselves into. But when we start to look at those things as more of a limiting belief and we start to challenge them and we start to change the wording on them, well, it's amazing how our mindset can change. 
And it's amazing how then we can start to allow the universe to do and help and bring all of the things that we truly desire to us. So work on those affirmations, ladies. I I can't encourage you enough. Along those same lines, you can use visualization along with those positive affirmations. So you can take the time to imagine where you're going and to dream of it in crystal clear clarity, but also work in those positive affirmations. Also bring in that great energy. And then within that dream, imagine that it can be even bigger. Imagine that it's going to be all of that and more. And that more is an unknown. And that more is unclear, but you can still see it out there. Kind of like um, kind of like when you're you're looking through a tunnel and you you can see like as you as you're go, as you're walking further and further into this tunnel, you see more and more light. And as you continue down the tunnel and you can see all the things around you, right? You can see the walls and the bricks and all the things, but as you're getting closer to the end of that tunnel, you start to make out the shapes of the things that are on the other end. And they're not really clear, but you can see them. You know they're there. And so you just keep walking and you keep moving towards it. And the more you go towards it and the more you allow it, it just comes. You don't know what it is. You don't know what you're going to see, but it's there. Outside of visualizing, I really like to use meditation as a way to let go. And it helps me connect with that inner self, that universal energy. And I think the biggest thing about taking time to meditate is you're clearing your mind. You're clearing your you're clearing your mind. You're surrendering to what pops into your head and you're not trying to control it. And that to me, it's that beautiful space that manifestations unfold naturally. When you just let your mind go without restrictions, it's really interesting to see what things pop into your mind. And it's funny because some of us want to say, oh, that was just, you know, I, I controlled that. But really, if you're, if you're truly meditating, if you're truly allowing the thoughts to freely flow, then maybe it's the universe. Maybe it's your guides, your angels. Maybe it's God. Maybe it's whatever it is you believe that's really putting those thoughts into your mind and giving you the ideas that it already knows is coming your way. It's truly this beautiful way of letting it all happen naturally without the control. It's a beautiful way to surrender. So with this whole idea of trusting the universe and surrendering, well, that involves actively co-creating, right? It involves you taking inspired action and aligning your actions and your intentions with what you're manifesting along with what you're co-manifesting, co-creating with the universe. And there are a few things you can do that will help this along. Number one, practice gratitude. We all know how I love gratitude, but I'm not joking. It is so, so important because the more grateful you are, the more beautiful things that come into your world. Gratitude is such a powerful tool to attract abundance. So really work on having gratitude for everything you have, everything that's not yet happened and everything that's coming your way. I'm going to say this a million times, so I hope you don't get sick of it, but have a gratitude practice every single day. Write down what you're grateful for, even if that day sucked, even if the only things you can say about the day that were beautiful was that your coffee was good. Even if you you want to focus on all the bad things that happened, I believe that you can find 10 things, big or small. And even and in the worst days they are often very small. But I believe that you can find 10 things that you can truly be grateful for from the day before. And I believe you can do it every day. And I believe the more you do it, the easier it becomes and the more your mindset shifts and the more gratitude you have for what you have and the more gratitude you have for what's coming towards you, the more that you are going to be blessed with. Then take some inspired action after that. Take action that complements what you're surrendering to. So listen to your intuition. Listen to what your gut is saying. Listen to the thoughts that are being put into your head when you're meditating. Listen to it, trust it, 
and take acts to move towards it and just see what happens. Even if it wasn't part of your plan, even if it doesn't quite fit the story you painted in your head, what's the worst that's going to happen? You might learn something new. Well, that's not a bad thing. You might discover something you liked that you didn't know. Well, that's not bad. You might end up doing something bigger, better, more exciting than you imagined. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Or you learned, I didn't like that. Okay, fine. You learned something. It's all good. But why not try? Why not take a step towards it and just see what happens? And then lastly, work on your patience. Work on having patience and knowing that there's divine timing. Some of our desires and some of our dreams are really big and we may want them tomorrow, but they may take five years. They may take 10 years. They may take less. I don't know. You work towards it every single day and you dream about it and you continue to move towards it, but you have patience and know and trust that the universe is going to put that all together in the right time. So it's really funny for me. I, again, like a lot of you, I'm sure, I do like to control things. I like things in order. I was a good student. I, you know, got my homework done on time. I don't like to be late, those kind of things. But I've been, I've been taking this year-long coaching course that I absolutely love. And my intention when I started it was to you know, be on for all the lives and do all the work and the moments that we're supposed to do it and all those things. And I've found that is not happening. I'm making the live sessions once in a while. I have not read all the books. I have not finished all the Zooms. I have not finished all the activities. But what's so beautiful about it is when I do have the time to do it, when I do make the effort, Whenever it is, even though it's not the exact timing of the release or the exact timing that I was asked to do it or the exact timing of what maybe majority of the other class is doing. But when I do it, it's perfect for me. It's exactly what I needed to hear, learn, grow, read, be inspired, whatever it is. It has been perfect every moment for me. And I love that. And I've just surrendered knowing that it's okay I'm not going to do it in the same time frame that everybody else is. I'm not everyone else. I'm Carrie Dale. I'm me. And I do things my way. And that is beautiful. And that is allowing this divine timing to work into my life. So you too, have some patience. Give yourself some grace. Have some understanding. Trust that everything is going to come to you in the perfect moment. And just keep knowing that it's coming. You don't know when and you don't know how, but it will come. Lastly, I think I just want to say that remember that letting go and trusting the universe is a total transformative process. It's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's going to take you time. But by you releasing that resistance and those attachments and that need for excessive control, you are opening yourselves up to this limitless possibility that the universe has in store for you, for me, for all of us. So take a deep breath, pause, surrender, and allow the universe to support you in attracting your desires and living your best life. When you thrive, the universe thrives. So keep manifesting, keep trusting, and keep embracing this journey with an open heart because you are going to get there. And above all else, remember that I believe in you and you can manifest your dreams. 